when Pete Davidson of Saturday Night Live made fun of Rep. Dan Crenshaw's eye patch, Republicans went into outrage mode with plenty of justification for doing so. Veterans, and particularly veterans who suffered tragic injuries both mentally and physically, deserve respect from those whose freedoms they fought to preserve. Davidson offered an apology and Crenshaw appeared on the sketch comedy show to accept. Now, Crenshaw is criticizing Trump for his attacks on the late Senator John McCain, who was also a veteran and a prisoner of war. Republicans began singing a much different tune about that criticism than they did when they were angry at Davidson. Crenshaw is not only correct, his is the most legitimate criticism offered. Not only is the congressman a Republican who has backed Trump's policies, he's a wounded veteran who lost an eye during wartime. He has no vested interest in criticism of the president since it hurts his own party, and he shares the experience of combat that commands respect for both of their sacrifices for this country. Trump has been on Twitter and spoke out in interviews against the late senator whose family is still very much in mourning seven months after his death. Trump's new issue with a man who is no longer even living is new evidence that he turned over the Steele dossier to the FBI following the 2016 elections. Trump calls it sabotage and insists that McCain was interested in taking him down for some kind of coup. McCain would likely disagree and say that turning reports from foreign intelligence agents of illegal activity by a president is the ethical thing for a lawmaker sworn to the uphold the Constitution should do. For all their posturing about their love for our service members and veterans, Republicans have become so cult-like that they can't even respect the wishes of members of their own party who fought for our country.